Giannis Antetokounmpo is the best player in the NBA, and he did nothing to dispel that. If you look at his last two games against the Sixers, he was 40, 14, and 6, 67% shooting, game-clinching block in a win mm. on Tuesday. He follows that up. He says that's not good enough. He goes 44, 14, and 6 on 67% shooting, game-tying three to send it to overtime, two clutch free throws to win it. I don't really know what else you can do. The guy had 84 points, 28 rebounds, and 12 assists mm. in two games on 67% shooting. Mm. How many, and, just a second. I just got a quick question. How many turnovers did he have last night? Oh, no, no, no. It's How not, many turnovers did he have last night? It's not your turn to talk. Why I know, but I'm just asking a quick question from the audience over here. Just a quick one. Uh, you know what? Uh, How many did Kevin Durant have last night? Uh, How many did Kevin Durant have? Giannis had thought. eight turnovers. He was West Brookian last night. But did he or did he not win the ball game? In his last five games, head to head against Kevin Durant, Giannis is five and zero. Oh. He's averaging 35, 13, and 6. Mm. He's plus 81. Kevin Durant is minus 67. Now, you told me when Kevin Durant went to LeBron James' house, he's the best player. The he last was. He was. If Twice. Two in a row. Anybody that watched this game last night that doesn't think Giannis Antetokounmpo mm. is currently the best player in the NBA, they're losing their mind. Mm. Now he's officially tied with LeBron James for the mo averaging the most points in the season. Mm. Skip, I don't know what else you want him to do. Kevin Durant versus Giannis in clutch this season. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is shooting 40%. Giannis is shooting 52% in clutch. Last five minutes of the ball game, game within five. Mm. That's what Giannis is doing. Mm. So, for me, Giannis almost outscored Kevin Durant and KD. So, you mean to tell me two of the best offensive players in NBA history, two of the most clutch players in NBA history. Now, had LeBron, all you do is when LeBron missed situations like that, you got to show it. I don't do that. I don't mm. need to show it because people saw him miss a game-winning shot in regulation and a game-winning shot in overtime. That happened. So what last night told me is what I already knew. Mm. The Brooklyn Nets are not beating the Milwaukee Bucks in a seven-game series. Giannis is the currently best player in the NBA. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Mm. Guys averaging 30, 14, and 6. Mm. 30, 14, and 6 on 57% shooting. I don't know how you get much better than that. And he's the number one seed in the East. Mm. That's what it told me last night. Is it my turn? Yes, yeah, your turn. Take it away. Whew, thank you. Here we go. So, uh, I have a question. There's this guy who's made back-to-back first-team all-defenses. Back-to-back, he's 6'10", he's long, he can, he can guard any position, including that position, Giannis's position. Yeah. His name is Ben Simmons. Whatever happened to him? That ain't Help do, me out. That ain't Help me out. Tonight. What yes. if he had played last night and guarded Giannis? What? Would Giannis have gotten 500 points or yes. whatever he got? And by the way, there's this other guy named LaMarcus Aldridge. And when he was with my Spurs, you want to talk about a rim protector? You want to talk about 6'11 and long? He can't do anything with Giannis. LaMarcus can do a lot with Giannis because no, he, he just bothered the hell out of him. And where has LaMarcus been? I don't know. I think they're just shelving him for the playoffs. He's had an ankle issue. He hadn't played for a month. I don't know what's happening. Well, you better happened. get out of the eight seed. Huh? And then there's this guy named Blake Griffin. I thought he did a marvelous job on Giannis last year. He made Giannis work, grunt and groan and grind for his yeah. points in that seven-game battle that they had last year. He dropped 40 the on him. Well, I, he had a hard night against – even in game seven, he had a hard night against Blake Griffin. Where was Blake Griffin last night? He was sitting down at the end of the Can bench. Can we talk about the people He's, that were there? I, I'm just telling you, this is what they were up against. And, by the way, Kevin Durant, when, when he guarded Giannis, he – he was putting the clamps on him, no, but they would not let him. They're playing Claxton on him most of the night. He's splitting time with Big Penguin. Are you kidding me? In fact, there was a play with 743 left in the game. Could we see what KD did to Giannis, the guy who dominated last night? Oh, this he didn't is, dominate? This is where – look at this. Oh, he blocked his shot, and then he was called for traveling on the play. Yeah, he but traveled. he blocked his shot. He That's traveled. Interesting. Whew. Okay. All right. That, that'll work. So – Here's what happened. I'm going to give you this. It was not Kevin Durant's best game. He is mortal. He's human. And he didn't have a great one. But he had a pretty good one because he did a lot of good things. And yet, Giannis did come through 
but he shockingly came through because it was completely out of character for him to come through because he's not the closer and he was forced into the closer role because Middleton got tossed. And so, I thought it wasn't right that he got tossed, but he did get tossed. So it should be more impressive. Chris, Chris Middleton is the closer for this team. He closed game seven in overtime at Brooklyn a year ago in the playoffs. And last night, Giannis had missed all three of his threes and he makes the one that ties the game to send it to overtime. And I fell out of my chair. Isn't that what Clutch Flair does? Okay. Well, he, he's never been that clutch before because he's not the closer. He always defers to Chris Middleton or even to Drew Holiday. I'm thinking he's got the demons going, and then he gets fouled again. If we could see the foul, the, the second foul that sent him to the line for the game winners, which came with three seconds left. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't think it was a foul. Claxton I just mean, him. you know, he just gets a downhill run at the basket, and Claxton's just trying to get out of the way. Well, you can't grab his arm. He just runs over Okay, just, just get out of the way. Him, Don't okay? grab his arm. And he steps right up and, and knocked me out of my chair again. He made the two free throws right. after he'd missed two. Right. That took a lot of guts because you got the demons eating at your psyche. No, you thought he had the demons. Well, he didn't think okay, that. Well, I, has he been a good free throw shooter in the past? He made them then. Well, That's he, all that and, matters. And, and he made 15 of 19 last night, which is shockingly good. Good, well, but it's uncharacteristic. No, it's not because good. we saw him in game. We saw him in game six yeah, last year, make did. sixteen or seventeen. So, could somebody please explain to me how Kevin Durant only shot three free throws Skip, last night? Skip, that's not his. Skip, he huh. wasn't driving the ball. He stayed under the perimeter. Okay. So, what what did we see? Let's go bigger picture here. What do we see? You're, you're saying that he proved once and for all he's better than Kevin Durant. Let me get my box score out here. Yeah, in, get it out. In the fourth quarter, huh? Kevin Durant made three of four shots. Took one three and made it. That's pretty good. Didn't get to the free throw line, but he scored seven points. Mm -hmm. That that's that's a pretty good fourth quarter. How many right? points did Giannis have? Huh? How many points did Giannis have? Okay. If well, you're gonna tell the story, okay. tell it. Well, he made the last three, so I'm gonna give you that. And there's no more Chris Middleton, so I give you that. He had to do something. Chris Middleton's look at his line for the fourth quarter. He's the closer for the team, and he managed to take one shot and miss it and score zero points. Yeah. So I give you Giannis stepped into the breach, and and he's like. Oh, maybe I better do but, but this. But you was trying to make a point about Kevin Durant had seven points. Giannis had nine points, six rebounds. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, mean, go, I mean, tell a story. I mean, you, you, and, you left something off. And he had eight turnovers for the game. Yes, Way to go, did. Giannis. Sure eight. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now let's go to the overtime, yes, shall we? Yes, let's go to the overtime. Okay. Who led all scorers in scoring in the overtime? Help me out, Mr. Sharp. Led all scorers. Huh. Oh, it's that, that guy named Durant. You know that guy, the best what, player on the planet? Is, Huh. He, he led all in overtime. He, he, had, he had six points in overtime. That led all scores. Nobody had more than six points in overtime. Did right. he do his part? Yeah. Yeah. So here's no. the big picture of what you got to put into perspective. Kevin Durant has now played all of 12 games with Kyrie Irving this year. 12 games, and they're still trying to figure each other out because this is a clearly troubled basketball team. Not each other. I don't know what's going on, but. We know what Kyrie did to this team. He took the heart out of this team. He knocked this team on its golden tail by not getting vaccinated. And James Harden quit over it and wound up in Philadelphia. And I still don't think this team has picked itself up off the deck yet over what Kyrie did to it. Now, finally, he can come back and he's still not vaccinated. And the mayor saying, Kyrie, go ahead and get vaccinated. Well, he hasn't. And this team feels like it needs to get vaccinated uh, against whatever's going on in that locker room because there's something going on that's just wrong with this team. I don't like their body language. Ain't nothing going on. What's yeah. going on is that they can't beat the, uh, uh, the, oh. uh, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh. Giannis is the best player. No, I don't want you to tell me what's going on in the locker room. That was not the question. Seven and five are KD and Kyrie in the games they play together because they're still trying to figure each they other out without year. James Harden. There's no James Harden. Oh. And all of a sudden, Steve Nash is, is forcing Goran Drago into the lineup, he played more than Patty Mills. You and I love Patty Mills. I'm the biggest Patty Mills yeah. fan. Where is he? Why, why didn't he get more shots last night? I, he is skip. He is a clutch. He's about as clutch a shooter as they have on the Every team. Every time somebody outplays Kevin Durant, you come up with excuse after excuse I don't excuse know. I'm, excuse. I'm giving you fact no, no, after get, fact after fact. What did you see last night? I just Giannis. told you. He outplayed I just told you. It's a, oh, Kyrie ain't okay. got vaccinated. Kyrie ain't going to get vaccinated. Yep, okay. Oh, they only played this many games together. Uh -huh. Giannis outplayed. 
played Kevin Durant, and again, Kevin Durant had an opportunity to win the game. Now, I want to know, because LeBron James had a lead with seven minutes by 10 points, and you say LeBron's got to get this one home. Kevin Durant had a lead okay. with nine minutes with three minutes okay. left. I'm glad you brought up your man LeBron James, because I am itching to get to this one. So, what happened, if I can pull my notes back out here, Kevin Durant gets fouled in the corner, and he thought it was a flagrant foul because he did uh, turn his ankle thanks to Wesley Matthews, and this came with 8.3 seconds left that we could see the play on which he got fouled as he shot the three. Kyrie kicks it back to him, and Wesley Matthews just runs over him, and it's three shots, and if Kevin wanted a flagrant called on that. This is LeBron James' worst nightmare. You're down two at the line late in the game, and you got to make three free throws. And look what he did. He stepped up here. He lost he, the game. He is the clutchest free throw shooter we've ever seen. Well, maybe they ever. Free throws. Did, they you remember, the game. Do you remember the gold medal game? Do you remember what your man Damian did? Gag and gag. And Kevin said, no, give me the ball. I'm going to run down to the end. I'm going to inbounds. That was a good look. No, it was not no good look. What are he you talking it. about? He missed the it was shot. A good look, and he it, lipped it out. It, hold on. He when lipped LeBron, it out. He LeBron, didn't lebrick it. He just lipped it. Didn't, didn't count. He didn't. Didn't count. Do you know how many LeBron has missed this year? I, He's had at least 12 games he should have closed. How many for and Kevin Durant? How many failed. for Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant just blew a 10-point lead two mm. day, three days ago. Mm. But you won't mention that. Giannis is the best player. Giannis mm. outplayed him again. Mm. Five games head to head. The mm. last five games, Giannis is mopping the floor with him. Okay, mm. mopping the floor with him. And yet, even you admitted last year, it was KD or bust for the Nets against the Bucks in the playoffs. It goes seven games because KD was spectacular. He was otherworldly because he's the best player on this planet, and he's clearly better than Giannis because if you wow. switch places last year, there is no way Giannis would have won three games. He, Kevin Durant is somewhere else. Nobody can stop him, and only Who can stop Giannis. Only his own little toenail stopped him. In the last, in the last five matchups, game mm. six and seven, yeah. plus three games this year, yeah. Giannis is averaging 34, 35 and a half points, thirteen rebounds, six assists, on sixty percent shooting, and he's plus eighty one. What is that? Who made the shot of shots last year in overtime? What? Chris Middleton oh, is the closer for that team. Every time they need a bucket. They go to Chris Middleton. Skip. Chris Middleton wasn't there last night. Huh. Chris Middleton wasn't I, there I know. last night. And, and you know, you could look at Giannis's face and it was like, look what I found. Oh, no, no, I, I actually finally made one. I just missed my first threes, three threes and I just made you, a three. You, hold on. You see what you try to do? Huh. You try to diminish it. He's not clutch. He make a three. Well, given the given the facts of the game that he had missed this first three, I didn't think that was gonna go in. Mm -hmm. Well, you look what he did. At 139, he missed both free throws. Yep. At three seconds, he steps up and knocks them both down. Yep. Had that been Kevin Durant, you'd be all over the floor. What did I tell you? But you can't come in here and say that because he let you down again. In the fourth quarter and overtime, mm. he missed shots mm. that would have won you the game. Giannis made the shots mm. that won. The game. Are you saying Kevin Durant is not clutch? I'm saying, Ke hold on. At some point in time, you're going to have to start making some of these shots huh. and stop blaming toenails mm. and fingernails mm. and shoes too big. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, either you do or you don't. Now, we really. Wait, did he make the toenail shot? Did you win the game? Well, it should have. No, no it shouldn't have. No, it shouldn't have. But uh -huh. at some point in time, we beat Giannis. We, I was with you when he lost four straight mm -hmm. to Toronto after having a 2 nothing lead. We mm -hmm. beat him up. When he lost to the Miami Heat, we beat him up. Now he comes back, does a number in the NBA Finals, dropped a 50-piece in game six, mm -hmm. had a clinching blocks, did everything right. This year, he's been even better than he was last year, and you still won't give him credit. Mm -hmm. So, I love this quote after the game from Giannis because this sums him up right now. He's found some new weird comfort zone. And his quote was, I'm over myself now. I'm able to get to my spot better and execute. And if the ball doesn't go in, I'm okay with that because in the past, it didn't go in so often, it ate him alive. And now, he says he's called, it's called abundance mentality. I love what I've done in the past, so he's sort of resting on his laurels in a good way because he's telling himself, you've done all this. You've been an MVP. You've won a championship. Don't worry about no. it. Just let it fly. No, what he's telling himself is that, hey, Giannis, bro, you've done this. 
Yes, you've done all these things. You've been an MVP. You've been a defensive player of the year. You can do this. But you know why? Because you've done it before. Mm -hmm. So why are you beating yourself up? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a make or miss league. If the ball goes in, great. If it doesn't, just know. Mm -hmm. Because you've done it before, you're going to have more success. And that's what he's able to rest on. Mm -hmm. Don't be telling like this man is resting on his laws mm -hmm. because... You don't play as hard as he play on a nightly basis mm. and rest on your law. I'll, I'll give you that. He does play hard. And his final quote is, I can now execute without thinking, without having self-doubts about myself. Yes. Okay? Because he's had a lot of self-doubts in the past. Name a player that hasn't. Kevin Durant has no self-doubt. Skip. Trust me. Skip. Every... He's as confident a player as I've ever watched. Yes, Skip. He is now. He is Always now. was. He is now. It's a lot easier to have that. Guess what? When you won championships, you won an MVP, I'm sure Giannis had doubt. Am I ever going to win one? Because we helped put some of that doubt in his head. He's never going to win it. He's mm -hmm. never going to win it. Now, it's a, it's, a, it's a big old monkey off your back. Mm -hmm. Once you win that championship, look what happened with Jordan. Look what happened with LeBron. Look what happened with Kobe and Shaq. Once you win one, the world is lifted. You did you're dealing with a different animal for the next 10. Mm. For however how long he is, you got a, you got a problem with this man. The mm. man is 28 years of age. Mm -hmm. He's long, and like he said, he's able to get, now all of a sudden, we try to minimize it. All he does is dunk. All he does is this. Nobody ever said anything but Shaq. When did Shaq ever hit a three? When did Shaq have a mid-range? We said Shaq was the best, most dominant player mm. from that period. That's Giannis. Mm. But all we do is tell you what he can't do. What's so amazing is everything that he can't do, he's still the best player in the NBA. And he can't do Jack, let y'all tell it. Mm. All I know is one fateful July the 4th, Kevin Durant announced, I'm leaving Westbrook and I'm going to join forces with a team that we had down three games to one. I'm going to Golden State. Okay. And the internet, the basketball culture, the NBA followers all tried to cancel Kevin Durant. How dare you? Right. You're going to join forces with those guys? Yep, I'm going to do that because they need me. And he goes out he there with the, with the weight of the NBA world on his shoulders, his skinny little shoulders. He goes to LeBron's house for a game See? three in back-to-back -back years and just made him eat it in his own house. Giannis just, did, Giannis, Giannis just Ooh. did that to Kevin Durant. Ooh. So, okay, if Kevin Durant did that to LeBron in his house, why can't you acknowledge Giannis did the exact same thing to Kevin Durant? It came down to one shot See? for all the marbles. One shot, that's all. It, that was the difference in the game, was one shot. And he missed because he is human, and this is a troubled team, and it's now, understaffed okay, right now. Okay, it doesn't yeah. have anybody to okay. guard the post. Okay, the game three came down to one shot. Kevin mm -hmm. Durant made the shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, one shot. Okay, the fact of the matter is, Skip, that's the problem. Why can't you give Giannis his credit for doing the exact same thing that Kevin Durant did in LeBron's house? He's going to his house in game seven. I give you this. He shocked me. He did something I didn't see coming because it's not what he does. He actually made a three after he'd missed his first three. Okay. He actually made two free throws after he just gagged two free how throws. Many, how many great players have we seen have a bad game, but in a big moment, come up big? That's what makes them great. That's what separates them. Yes, we know they can have these 30, 40, 50-point games. Yes, we know they can take the game over. But sometimes guys struggle mm. and still able to find their way home. Giannis was struggling shooting the three. Mm. But there goes that confidence again. He's like, I'm, hey, hell, I'm Giannis. I'm an MVP two times. Mm. I'm a defensive player of the year, finals MVP. He stepped up and took that shot with confidence. He's thinking, I should be able to make a shot over Nikki Claxton. What? Yeah, that's a three-point. Are point. you kidding so, me? So, so, so in other Nikki words, Claxton? Now, now, now you wanted to diminish the shot. Mm. Now because it wasn't, it wasn't over uh, 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 Will Chamberlain or Bill Russell, now you diminish him. He hit a three, and you diminish who he hit the shot over. <laughs> in the regular season. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll meet in the first Hold round. They did might you meet. not see him last year yeah. against Kevin Durant? Mm -hmm. He beat him in a game seven. Kevin Durant put on a show of shows, a game for the ages. Still, Are I'm, you kidding I'm me? I'm not going to allow you to do that. Okay, who played better in game seven? Help me out. Giannis. Who had the better numbers? Giannis. No, Kevin Giannis had a 40 piece. Are you, are you kidding? Do you remember Kevin's numbers in those games, Ke especially in that game? Uh, uh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, so let me get this straight. So it normally goes. Re, it goes rebounds, assists, fouls, steal, turnover, block, shot, point. Mm. And L, 
One guy had an L by his name. The mm. other guy had a W by his name. Mm. Now, see, what you did, now, see, when LeBron James was in Cleveland mm. and Kevin Durant was in Golden State with Clay, Tra uh, 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 Steph, and Draymond, mm -hmm. and LeBron was up against it by himself, you never made these concessions for LeBron mm. that you're making for Kevin Durant. Mm. Wait a second. LeBron James, as I always say, best passer in basketball leads me back to assists. Who had a game-high assist last night in this game? Help me out. Uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin had Durant assists. led everybody with 11 yes. assists. 11 assists? Yes. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And you're saying he's garbage? Hold on. No, you see how you do that? Oh. Yeah. Nobody ever said Kevin oh. Durant was garbage. That's not what I said. Give me Ben Simmons. Give me LaMarcus Aldridge. Give me Blake Griffin. And we're having a different story last night. Because oh. Giannis is going to have some problems. Skip. Skip. He's done a number on mm. Ben Simmons. Mm. He told he told Ben Simmons he's a baby. He too little for me. He too little. Give Love the man to give, give the man credit. Mm. Y'all are firing he's a good game. on all cylinders good game. this morning. <laughs> no <laughs> April Fool's jokes there. Guys, I man, love I that Bucks big three. I think the maturity yes. and lack of drama is going to be a big benefit going down the stretch. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.